I mean, if I had to pick any vehicle, I would choose the Murano for myself. I um, love them in white. You get a white Maxima and a white Murano and put them next to each other, and they look awesome. They just do, I mean. The Muranos are definitely very special. Um, they're our luxury crossover. They're an SUV, but you wouldn't, you couldn't tell it. Of course, you have, you know, the great, great job with the uh, blind spot indicators. I've had one customer just buy a Murano because that was her main thing. She wanted to make sure no one would be in her blind spots again. In the interstate, and you go 80 miles per hour in a normal SUV, you're going to hear road noise. You're going to hear the engine, and it's just going to be loud. You're going to have to play music just to overcome it. The Murano, you go 80 miles per hour, it could get you in trouble, but you can't really hear it. Um, the road noise, you can't hear it. It's just a very, very smooth ride, and you don't know you're going that fast. Uh, it has the same engine as the Maxima. It's going to handle sim similar to a sports car, even though you don't, I think you really feel like you're in a time capsule almost. It's so futuristic, it's so, you know, fast. You know, and you get a lot of, lot of technology. It's a Maxima, but in, S, in an SUV. It's what it is. Yeah, get a lot of the same features, same engine, same performance and power, and a lot of the same interior design. You get a lot of it. It's almost identical. It's just going from a sedan to an SUV. Well, you get the G4 seats. Um, they're great, especially for long distance driving. You just don't get the fatigue that you would have in a uh, typical, you know, typical seat. It's great on your lumbar in the back. That light interior is a very, very nice. And you do get a lot of the trimmings on your uh, front dash, on your door. You get those little trims, mm -hmm. and it's very nice. Great thing about the Murano is it's, our, it's a luxury SUV.